On the first coast, St. Augustine's monument to the city's Confederate dead has been in its place in the Plaza de la Constitucion since 1879. And tonight, the city officially unveiled its plan to add new context to that memorial, despite opposition from some who say it should be left as is, and others who say it needs to come down altogether. First Coast News' Lana Harris is live tonight in St. Augustine, where Lana locals got to have their say. Yes, they did. I'm sorry, guy just ran past me in a bike. So yeah, they did. So this is the um, the mo the monument behind me, and what we're talking about here is the placement of four plaques, and they're going to be at the base of each side of this monument. And what those plaques are going to do is give context to what the memorial is. Now, city commission presented this idea in the meeting today, and they said they spent about two hours listening to what the public had to say about it. One memorial, two very different perspectives. It's just a memorial for men that died on the battlefield whose bodies were never returned. And grieving women made a memorial to their dead. Um, they were traitors to the United States of America. They seceded from the United States and they fought to maintain slavery. Some wanted to see the monument stay and others wanted it removed completely. So the city created a committee to come up with a solution. They did really hard work for five or six months and produced a recommendation that we considered tonight. St. Augustine Mayor Nancy Shaver says the recommendation was to keep the monument and add four plaques to the base of it. Telling the story of the Civil War in St. Augustine, telling a little bit about the monument, and then going on to, some, to it, how you might interpret it. For about two hours, Mayor Shaver says the commission listened to public comment and it didn't sit well with everyone. A bunch of lies on it. They used the word white supremacy. It's just a tear down of our history. And uh, it's just, uh, just something I disagree with. Lipstick on a pig. Putting lipstick on a pig is still a pig. There's no need for me or people that look like me to go into a public market to where they glorify something that in no way deserved to be glorified. Still, the commission decided 4-1 to approve the recommendation of the plaques. That's how democracy plays out. Some people may not like it for whatever reason, but we do the best we can when we sit in those chairs to do the right thing. Now, the one vote against this decision did come from Mayor Shaver, but she says that was just because the captioning on the plaques that was approved is a bit more wordy than she would have liked. She would have liked to see something a little shorter, but that's the only reason why she voted against it. She said she is for this decision. Here in St. Augustine, Lana Harris, First Coast News, on your side.